Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive, and he has conquered death and the grave for you and me. The power of the cross, the power of the empty grave, Christ risen, what joy is ours. Today I've chosen three passages of Scripture to read. One is the entire book of Deuteronomy. <laughs> no, just half. Actually, from 1 Chronicles chapter 16. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. The second passage from Psalm 76. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. And then the third passage from Philippians chapter 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. My theme this morning is remember, resolve, and rejoice. These are the words of our text, God's grace and his mercy, and his peace be multiplied to you now and forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In Chronicles, we read, remember the wonders the Lord has done. That's good advice for you and me, especially today on Confirmation Sunday. Remember the words and the wonders that God has done. Remember what he has done in the lives of our confirmants. Remember what God has done for you and me. To start it is good for us to remember the wonders that Jesus our Lord did. His miracles, his kindness, his compassion for the crowds, his wisdom. But most of all, we remember the cross. We remember the nails, the thorns, the agony, the bloody sweat. We remember how Jesus became sin for us. We remember his sacrifice. We Remember his words from the cross, it is finished. We remember the death and the resurrection of Jesus, our Savior. And we remember that he forgives all of our sins and he gives to us everlasting life. And then we remember with wonder how Jesus gave to us the sacrament of Holy Communion. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is poured out for you for the remission of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. We remember the wonder of Holy Communion, that in this sacrament the bread remains bread, the wine remains wine, and yet the body and blood of Jesus are truly present here, given to us. The forgiveness of sins, the body and blood of Jesus being eaten and drank in Holy communion. Today is a day for us adults to remember our confirmation too. Think back long ago to that day when you were confirmed, or maybe not so long ago. Who was your pastor? What is your confirmation verse? My pastors were Pastor Mybohm and Pastor Lesh took two to tackle me in confirmation. No, actually, we lived on one side of town, and we belonged to church on another side of town, so I went to the church close by for confirmation and then was confirmed in my home congregation by Pastor Lesh. And my confirmation verse that Pastor Lesh gave to me is from Matthew 28, where Jesus says, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. And it is a wonder, a wonder that my pastors even confirmed me. It truly is a sign of God's grace and his mercy, that's for sure. And today I remember my classmates, those who are in confirmation with me. 
What about you? I wonder what happened to my classmates. I haven't seen any of the other youth that I was confirmed with. It's been 41 years, and I don't think that I've seen any of them in at least the last 37 years. I remember the vows I made, like you will make your vows today, promising to be a hearer of God's word, promising that I will come to the Lord's table often to receive Holy Communion. I remember promising that I would live according to the Word of God as a child of God and that I would strive and intend to be faithful to Jesus throughout my entire life. And I promised that I would suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from our Lord. Your confirmands, young and our adults who are being confirmed today, you will remember today, and you will remember the wonders of God's love, the wonders of God's love for you and his forgiveness for you, his salvation through Jesus our Savior. And today we remember the wonderful promises that God has made to us, so many throughout the pages of Holy Scripture, but especially these, where God says to you and me, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. He says, nothing in all of creation can separate you from me. He says, I have redeemed you. You are mine. When you walk through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the flames, they will not set you ablaze, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. At the end of our life, we will say with King David, surely goodness and mercy have followed me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Today is a day to remember the wonders of God. But often with our remembering, right, there often comes regret too, doesn't there? On Confirmation Sunday, we remember how we haven't always kept the vows that we made on the day we were confirmed. We haven't always heard the word of God as we intended to or received the Lord's Supper as often as we should have. We haven't always lived according to the word of God and been a faithful and good witness for our Lord Jesus Christ. We haven't always been faithful to Jesus. And so today we remember and we also remember with regret. But be of good cheer, for Jesus does not hold our sins against us. We intend by the grace of God to keep the vows that we make, but we are still sinful human beings. And thankful we are that Jesus does not hold our sins against us. He works repentance in you and me over and over and over again, enabling us to continue to confess our sins. And he is always faithful and he is always just and he cleanses us from all of our unrighteousness and tells us again and again, your sin is forgiven. You are my child. I have redeemed you, and you are mine. And isn't that one of the great wonders of God? That he will not turn us away, but that he always welcomes us back home. Always welcomes us to his table, where he gives to us his body and blood for the forgiveness of our sin. When we are faithless, he remains faithful to you and me, forgiving our sin cleansing us. King David writes, blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him and in whose spirit is no deceit. Confirmand, you are blessed by God today. People of God, you are blessed. You are blessed because God in his goodness and mercy continues to forgive your sins. Truly, Blessed is the one whose sins are forgiven. Well, that brings us to our second passage this morning in Psalm 76, verse 11. The psalmist writes, make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. With the forgiveness of God comes resolve. Comes resolve to make our vows to the Lord. We remember the wonders of God's mercy and we resolve to put away our sinful ways. We remember that God forgives us and we resolve to dedicate ourselves to loving him and loving our neighbor. And this resolve moves you and me to make our vows to the Lord 
and to strive to keep those vows. And so today we will listen as our confirmands, both young and adult, as they voice their vows to the Lord our God. And as we listen, let us also resolve once again to keep our confirmation vows that we made long ago. Resolve to take up your cross, to deny yourself, and to follow Jesus. Resolve to pursue holiness and righteousness all the days of your life. Resolve to remain faithful to Jesus and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from him. And confirmands, as you speak your vows this morning, resolve to keep them, resolve to fulfill them, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, strive to keep the vows that you speak today. Fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith, and lay aside everything that hinders, the sin that so easily entangles, and run with perseverance the race that Jesus has marked out for you. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them, says the psalmist. And the final passage for this morning is Philippians 4, verse 4. St. Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Today is a day of rejoicing for us, isn't it? It is a day of rejoicing for the parents and families of our confirmants, parents who brought their children to the baptismal font, who brought them to church and Sunday school and confirmation classes, who taught your children at home about Jesus. Today is a day of rejoicing for parents, for families who have prayed for their confirmands and who have encouraged and sponsored our confirmands. Today is a day of rejoicing. We rejoice in the Lord who is faithful to us. And today as a congregation, it is a day for us to rejoice as well. We rejoice with our young confirmands. We, we have watched these young people grow up before our very eyes. We watched their baptism. We watched them come up for the children's message. We have seen them in Christmas program after Christmas program. We have worshiped with them every Sunday. And now we hear them confess their faith in Jesus. And today is a day for us as a congregation to rejoice. And we rejoice with our adult confirmands this morning too. We have gotten to know them over the last year or so. We have seen them in worship. We have prayed for them. And we rejoice with our adult confirmands too. And today is a day for every one of us to rejoice in Jesus. To remember the wonders of God and give thanks to him. We have a Savior, a Savior from sin and death. God so loves you and me that he gave his Son to save us from sin, to deliver us from death, and to destroy the work of the devil. Jesus died on the cross for you and me. He carried our sins and our sorrows and our sicknesses at Calvary. He finished the work of our salvation. And on Easter, Jesus rose from the dead and conquered death once and for all for you and me. In baptism, we were buried with Jesus and we were raised to new life in Christ. And for this, we rejoice. We rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Remember, resolve, and rejoice this Confirmation Sunday. In Jesus' name, amen. And now may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus our Lord to life everlasting, amen. We continue by singing together the hymn, Thy Strong Word. The words are printed in the bulletin and will be on the screen also. Let us join our voices in song before the rite of confirmation. <clears throat> 